Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I get ready to work. And I do work at Abercrombie Kids, so we're gonna go for all natural look today. And forgive my face, I look like an egg right now, but we're gonna change that in a bit. And I'll be using the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. This is like, whoa, my hair is not cooked. This is like my to-go palette. I use this like every day, but yeah, this look is pretty simple and basic, and I hope you guys learn something from this video, and let's just get started with this look. So to start off, I'm using this sample from Sephora, and it's called Josie Moran Pure Argan Oil, and it helps with the dryness on my face, and I'm just going to blend it with my fingers. And then I'm priming my face with Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I'm just using my fingers as well to blend it. For my foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and I'm using this spongy beauty blender and I'm just gonna dab it all over my face. Then I'm using this flat brush to use the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Related Concealer. I'm baking with Cody Airspun Loose Powder and I'm just taking my damp beauty blender and just pat where I put my concealer and I'm setting it in for like five minutes and just brush all the excess powders on my face and for my brows I'm using this slant brush from Morphe brushes and I'm using the Anastasia Step Brow Pomade in medium brown just slightly filling in my brows I don't really do anything crazy in like those flaky eyebrows I don't really have time because I'm always late for work <laughs> to make my brows look clean I'm taking the concealer earlier and I'm just putting it under my brows and above my brows to make it look sharp somewhat moving on to the eyes I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm taking the color Heaven from Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette and I'm just gonna put that on my lids Done with a round brush, I'm taking the color next to it and it's called Cashmere Bunny. I'm sweeping that back and forth on my crease area. I can't stop loving you. So many problems. With a fluffy brush, I'm taking the color Nude and I'm just gonna put it over the Cashmere Bunny to make it look more blended and natural for this look i'm not doing a wing liner but i'm just lighting the shape of my eyes with the maybelline gel liner in the black is black your lips give me chills when i'm heated i'm sweating like you say you don't love what you mean is you wanna show me your love in the worst way in the worst way Go ahead, brush all the excess powders from earlier. The worst way. And I'm just putting mascara on before I put on my falsies like I always do. And it's from Ardell Lashes. Then I'm taking this gold shimmery color and it's called Honey Pot. And I'm just gonna dab it on my inner corners of my eyes to make my face look more fresh and awake and you look like you just step out of the beach. And I'm just enhancing my cheekbones and make my forehead look a little bit smaller because I got a big forehead. And then I'm using the Beach Bunny by Too Faced. Also making my nose look more tall and skinny, I guess. <laughs> For my blush, I'm using the Bobbi Brown's Berry 34. I always use this in every videos because it's like my favorite brush. I mean, my blush ever. Then I'm taking the NYX liquid highlighter and I'm putting that on my nose and above my cheekbones. Then I'm setting that off with the Becca Champagne Pop highlighter. I'm taking my Victoria's Secret lip tint and I'm just gonna dab it on my lips to look like I have some color 
and that's all i do for my makeup thank you guys for watching i hope you guys like this look don't forget to give this a video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>